What is going on guys? Welcome back. As we continue on, we're gonna go over here and do a little, uh, little fighting. The dueling ring calls. Care to test your skill? The tournament welcomes all fighters. You're holding duels during an invasion? Everyone needs a little entertainment during wartime. Besides, we're using Balkan to avoid injuries. I only duel with a clear purpose. You want a purpose? We offer generous rewards. As long as you win. If you are interested, the contenders are waiting at the ring. I suppose I could use some sparring practice. In honor of your fine katana, we will call you Okto. Some advice? Each combatant has a unique style with distinct strengths and weaknesses. Challenge a contender. Don't keep the people waiting. Alright, let's give it a go. Go this dude. This, me. this guy kind of scares me more than everyone peace. else. Strange to meet a monk at a dueling ring. It is part of my journey. Raiders attacked my monastery. I ended their lives with nothing but my arms ball. You broke your vow of nonviolence. Yes, but I glimpsed enlightenment. Duel with me, so I can seek it again. The Bokto challenges one. It is an honor. And now it's time. Introducing first, Bokto and his opponent. The exiled monk, one kicks and punches are allowed. First to five touches wins. Begin! Halt. Disengage. Point for one. Resume. Step back. Point for one. Proceed. Fuck, dude. This is annoying. Resume. Like, I, dude, this is really fucking pissing me off. I can't even touch this motherfucker. Like, anything and everything I do, he's like, dodge, dodge, fucking kick, dodge, kick, fuck, dodge. It's like the only thing he's not do is taking it in the fucking ass right now. Like, he's over here deep throwing some vi, giving like four fucking hand jobs at the same time while he's getting a footy to someone else, and then he still fucking dodges. Like, this is ridiculous, dude. Continue! Look at dude, just dodging everything. I don't, I don't. And the winner. Won. Don't get it. I learned much from this victory. Don't get it. I just don't. I don't. I don't fucking how that dude did not. This doesn't I didn't have to hurt. I didn't touch the dude. Let me win, Ronin. I have nine children, a sick husband. I need those winnings. You're not a fighter by trade. Oil merchant. 
spent my youth on the Come on, just I don't want to fucking talk. I Let's go. Bandits, please. Let me win so I can feed my eight children. I thought you had nine children. <laughs> you caught me. Guess I'll have to beat you the old fashioned way. The Bokto has challenged Take. You should have taken my offer. And now it's time. Introducing first Bokto and his opponent, the murderous merchant. Take kicks and punches are allowed. First to five touches wins. Begin! Okay. Proceed. What the fuck, dude? She's just countering everything. Continue. Disengage. Point for Porto. Resume. What? Wow. Proceed. Disengage. Point for Pokto. Resume. Step back. Point for Pokto. Continue. What? Point for Taket. Resume. What the fuck, dude? These are cheating. This is just cheating. Wait till my six kids hear about this. Nah, bro, that's fucking cheating. One minute. One fucking minute, and she's trying to counter, but then it's like I get her attack and I counter on her, and then all of a sudden she doesn't attack and I break her and I try to hit and then she does something and it's like no I no reflect hit you no okay I miss and she just comes right back in no it's fucking cheating shit bro that's just fucking cheating shit that's just fucking stupid you knew what to expect this eagle tribe marched around like they did we'd have already sent them home <laughs> Well done, Jim. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but... Good work with the warship. Is that a thank you? Don't push it. My ships can finally leave the cove. If you're itching to hire a boat back to Tsushima, I won't blame you. We're days away from everyone on Iki falling victim to the Eagle's medicine. Or joining her army. And if Iki falls, my home is next. All right, Jim from Yarikawa. Stick around, and you can help us clip the eagle's wings. She rode from Fort Sakai hours ago. My scouts saw her leave with her main force. She must be planning something. Where is she now? No idea. She's covering her tracks well. But she left her stronghold exposed. Now that her main force has left, this is our chance to take back Fort Sakai while it's lightly defended. Even with fewer guards, it won't be easy to breach. The place is a prison camp. Captives are being tortured and forced to drink that witch's poison until they swear loyalty to the eagle. I know. I escaped once before. Some of my best men are trapped inside. Free them, and they can help you liberate the fort. Then I'll finally have enough forces to take the fight to the eagle. Tell your men to tighten the defenses around the refuge. If this works, the eagle is going to be angry. I hope she is.
Here to Samurai. You were broken long ago. Without me to guide you, your soul is doomed to wander the lower world. So we get free. Your weapons. <laughs> Useless. She poisoned. Way to get back up to sea. Oh, but I've seen better. Damn, 7.3, I thought I was going to have it. If I had a little more concentration, I would have, uh, I would have got that.
Yo, that's some good wood right here. We weathered that time. Remember the samurai invasion, the pain we endured, the peace we lost. Who are you? Thought I knew every face on Iki. Just a traveler, stranded here by the Eagle Tribe. You're welcome to join us, if you want to hear an old man complain about the past. We survived one invasion. And we can do it again. Or have you all forgotten how much we suffered at the hands of the samurai? That was nothing compared to the danger we face now. Nonsense. You're too young to know anyway. It's past time I remind you all about the dark days of the samurai invasion. About the brutality of Kazumasa Sakai. Fifteen years ago, our home invaded by an army of ruthless samurai. Their leader was Kazumasa Sakai, the butcher of Iki. He rode to battle atop his demonic beast, shielded with armor as black as his master's heart. Luckily, the butcher made a grave mick when he came to Iki. He brought his whelp of a son. Our bravest warriors hunted the boy, not to kill, but to tempt his bloodthirsty father. Kazumasa gave chase, then rode into a trap. His armored horse met a grisly end, but the butcher and his run survived, then fled like cowards. Enough of these lies. That is not what happened. I lived near Senjo Gorge. I saw it with my own eyes. So did I. Who are you? My name is Jin Sakai. Kazumasa Sakai was my father. He gave his life trying to help this island. Help! He murdered us! Your people repaid his help by murdering him. Is that why you're here? To avenge your father and take my head? You may be a liar, but you are not my enemy. Not yet. Stop this! You're acting like wild dogs! I came here to help, not for revenge. You mentioned my father's horse armor. After he died, we never recovered it. We know. Tell me where it is, and I can use it to ride against the Eagle tribe. I would die before I help a samurai. It's time you leave. Well then. know something about my father's horse armor, but he'll never tell me. Unless I listen in on him, without being seen. Stay out! Heard something coming. <laughs> One more word about noble samurai, and I would have. Jiro. I lost six family members to the samurai. What about the rest of your story? Ah, yes. I was just getting to the good part. Kazumasa fell for our trap and lost his armored horse. As our warriors closed in, the Butcher and his boy fled into Senjo Gorge. The samurai limped through the canyon and ran headfirst into an ambush. There was no grand battle, only a few raiders with dull blades. But that was all it took. One swing to end the life of Kazumasa 
Sakai. While the samurai slunk home, we recovered the armor from Kazumasa's mount. Over the years, our finest horses wore that armor. Every one of them killed its rider. As if possessed by the butcher's vengeful spirit. So we sold his horse's armor to the Ida merchant family. The cursed armor left our shores aboard the merchant fleet as a storm descended on our island. The sky roared with the thunder of a thousand charging samurai, and the raging tempest shattered the Ida ships against our rocky coastline. The ruins of that doomed fleet still choke Zasho Bay, and somewhere in that watery graveyard lies the cursed armor once worn by the horse of Kazumasa Sakai. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we're just going right here to the coast to coast. Alright, let's switch armor because we're not doing that, uh... Yeah, I can't really wear that one. I guess I'm gonna get some trouble. Father's horse armor is still lost in Zasho Bay. Armor should be on the merchant's lead ship, marked by the Ida family banner. Was it gold or red?
Offensive! There we. That's a big jump. There we go. Kazuma Sasakai is real. Once your horse wears this armor, he will feel your father's terrible bloodlust, and he will kill you. Making their way. Banners from the family.
Of course. Father's horse armor. We'll see if it fits Kaze. Forge protect the fearless war horse. <laughs> Suits you well, Kaze. Curse or not. You wouldn't throw me, would you, boy? You look just like my father's horse. May this armor protect you in battle. <laughs> the Eagle Tribe. They found the survivor's camp. Come, Kaze! With horse armor equipped, horse charge inflicts more damage and income attacks are less likely to dismount you. Your horse? Is that? The horse armor of Kazuma Sasaki, restored to his son, and cursed no more. After everything I said, you saved us. There is a new threat on Iki. I saved you from these Mongols because I was raised to help those in need. Raised by Lord Shimura, and the man you call Butcher. I can't forgive your father. But as for his son, you're more merciful than he ever was. I never thought I would say this, but thank you, Lord Sakai. Alright, man, we got that sweet fucking horse armor. Yo, there's colors! That one's cool. Eh. 
Yo, I really dig this one, though. I don't know why, that one's more like, yo, you see me? That one is dope. That's like a Chinese dragon. That's just, I mean, that's just cool. It's just dope. We're going to go ahead and end here and uh, pick up the next episode. All right, guys, thanks for watching.